All right, dudes, the others in that V2099. And one of the most requested Glock videos of all time is glue, super glue, wood glue, Gorilla Glue, JB Weld. Glue, 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 glue. Well, before we experiment with glue on the Glock, we're going to do some experimentation with glue in the AK because I'm pretty confident this won't destroy the AK, unlike the Glock. Uh, this stuff, the Glock will probably survive and I'll probably try it. But some of the other suggestions, such as JB Weld or Gorilla Glue or any of the really super gnarly chemicals, will probably destroy my Glock. And, I mean, if you want to just straight up send me 700 bucks or whatever, I'll buy a Glock just for that video, do it just for you. But until that happens, nobody's ever taken me up on that offer. But Super Glue, the bolt carrier, closed on our AK and see what happens. Give a quick shout out to AmmoForSale.com who gave me a bunch of 7.62x39 to help me out uh, cover some of the expenses of the AK operations I do. I'm gonna take this off. So we're gonna have to chamber around. Let's get our mag, P mag in there. I'm pretty happy with these P mags so far. Okay. So we can see right in there, uh, we have super glue. And how do I want to do this? So it takes about 30 seconds to set, and then we wait a couple minutes. Let's put a big old dollop right there. Shit, I just glued the, the ammo together. Big old, we got too much lube in there. Too much, <laughs> too much glue. Let's put a little bit in here. That's okay. It's, an, it's a freaking. It's my arsenal. So we got glue everywhere. I'm not really concerned. So let's put this thing together and chamber around. Oh, that's the gluey. We use the non-glue mag. Put this thing back together. There's a bunch of super glue in there. Snap. This is when an operator needs three hands to operate. We'll just go really slow and really carefully. There we go, in battery. We got glue going on, so we're gonna give this a couple minutes just to chillax and glue yourself. And I'll uh, talk for a second and then we'll cut to the chase. Got some glue there. Okay, so all this battle damage came from the pumpkin pie test uh, back in 2013, I think. And the pumpkin pie essentially ate the paint off. All right, let's time lapse to the chase. Okay, dudes, it's been a few minutes. And... Oh, yeah, it's... I'm not using my full force because I don't want to break it. I want to see if the uh, the force from the round will will cycle it. We may have to take the recoil spring off. We may have to hammer this thing open. I know that we can break that bond. But the question is, will the round break the bond? And um, that's what's interesting. So let's set up our camera so we can see we can shoot this thing and see what happens. So we have a live round chambered. It should go off. Uh, but the question is, will it cycle? Yeah, it cycled. Totally. Let's drop the mag, shoot this round in there. Oh my goodness. It's pretty sticky. Yeah, you can see the super glue. It's pretty, it's pretty hardened. Let it harden into a nice crust, crusty lube. You can get some serious good rail action. Well, it totally worked. Now the question is, will super glue stop a Glock? I think if we approach it carefully, I may do it. Um, I'm, I don't want to legitimately destroy my Glock. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Mappy out. 
give a quick shout out to ammoforsale.com who gave me a bunch of 762 by 39 to help me out uh, cover some of the expenses of the AK operations I do. So, uh, you know, huge thanks to them. Thank you for watching. And if you made it this far, I would love to hear what you have to say in the form of a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video and tell me what other types of videos you would like to see. And if you want to drop a like or a dislike, that's also huge and I would appreciate it. Thank you and that be out.